Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome to my series, Finesse and Play, episode three. Tonight, my guest is funky, transparent, warm, funny, and clever. She's gorgeous and she's beautiful. When you meet her, it's almost impossible not to like her. She's a talented interior designer who transforms a house into a home with her classic yet eclectic style. She's also the co-founder of Mandara, where they project art, contemporary uh, craftsmanship, and contemporary designs. She can light up any room and is the life of a party. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my friend, my gorgeous guardian angel, somebody who's very, very close to my heart, Mona Shergill. My God, Bia, I have to live up to that introduction now. That's yes, scary. Mona, I totally mean every word of what I say. And thank you so much for coming onto my show. And your gracious presence means a lot to me. Thank you ever so much yeah, for coming gracious, on the series. We'll debate on at some point, but always a pleasure with you. Thank you, you so know, anything much. Anything for you, you know that. Thank you. Mona, I've known you for over 25 years now, and we go back. In years, in uh, you know, yes. in we've known each other so well. I attended so, your so, so first long. birthday party. Yes, absolutely. Yes. That also, which obviously <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember. <laughs> but uh, what I remember is that you were my local guardian when I was in St. Beats College, Simla, and then how our relationship, um, you know, transformed into this beautiful friendship where you became the, one of my closest friends for life. And how yeah. you've always been there for me and all the crazy things that we've done together. And I absolutely adore you and love you for your sense of style, for the beautiful home that you keep. There are so many things that I have learned and I have been inspired by you. So this really means a lot to me that you are here on my show. Yeah, thank you so much because you've done the same for me. I think it works both ways. And uh, since, I mean, like you said, I was your local guardian in college. In fact, I saw your last episode and it reminded me of you. Come, I used to just see you. You used to come in, hand me your quilt and off you'd go. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I remember you that. Were very studious. You were very studious. You know, so I mean, it brings back such good memories. And of course, then when we were all in Delhi, I think we had the best time of our lives. The best times. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. The best time of our lives. Totally. Yes. yes. Totally. So, Mona, I want you to know what is your quintessential style? Since you're so stylish, you keep such a beautiful home. Everything about you is so stylish. What is what is your quintessential style? What does style mean to you? Style for me basically is comfort. You know, right. uh, I think when I'm comfortable in what I'm wearing, uh, I'm you know, I don't know if it's stylish, but if I'm comfortable, I feel happy. And I think that reflects, you know, so natural fabrics, you know, uh, something very loose, you know, just for me, that is the most important thing. Comfort. Perfect. You know, Perfect. That for me Amazing. Is style. Yeah. And that's what even I feel now with age earlier, I would wear stilettos like the entire day, dance around in them. But today, I know I saw it's you. fabric. Yes. And you've seen me do that. Yes. But now when you talk about uh, style for me, again, comfort, like you said, is top priority. It's really, really important. And I think as we age, it becomes I think, higher and I higher in priority. Oh, and think, at the same time, you can look stylish with comfort. Style can be incorporated in a big big way. I think at least for me at least for me with age you kind of get comfortable and you kind of know what you want to wear you've done you know you've stopped experimenting as much the exactly, 20s yeah. 30s you're experimenting and listen I was a child of the 80s and 90s and we were th those decades weren't known for fashion you know for sure so you know I think I think uh, I speak for myself here but I think I'm far more comfortable uh, with how I look today than I was right. in my 20s and 30s. You know, I'm right. also lucky enough to have friends who design and give me beautiful clothes like what I'm wearing today. Um, oh, wow. Friend, Who's made this for you, Mona? It's absolutely so, stunning. Very, okay, very nice. Yeah, so very, I'm very lucky. I have a friend, Pranita, who you know, who brings yes, in the most yes. amazing exhibitions. And she introduced me to this. Well, she's a friend now, Tanushri, who has a label called Shorshe. So uh -huh. I'm and there are a couple of styles I like of hers, and I tell her, make me in every color, you know. So she wow. laughs at me. So it's just, I think, she, you know, it's meeting somebody who understands what you want as well, you know. 
So wow, beautiful. I love the Tanushree. color. I love the. I'm comfortable. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, understated, muted, muted, gorgeous, and it's just going so well with your complexion. Completely really? amazing. Very, I was just nice. telling my daughter. I said it's looking a bit shiny. Do you think I should? No, it's looking it? fabulous. It's looking really nice. So Mona, considering you just said that you know you've always uh, been a big fan of fashion, and yes, you had the advantage of being a part of you know you grew up with the 80s, 90s fashion. So what has been your favorite era when it comes to fashion? Where do you think was the 80s better no. or today, or what do you think today, was today? Today for sure. Today for right. sure. I don't think 80s. I don't really remember having any fashion sense. I mean, I'm just grateful the social media wasn't there because pictures would be really <laughs> embarrassing. But I think today, for me, okay. it's right now. It's. I think there's a lot of you know, uh, variety. A lot of uh, you know, there's so much. I mean, the bell bottoms have there come back. There is this whole yes, and there's a whole revival of fabrics. You know, the natural fabrics. You know, uh, so I think uh, we are very fortunate to be able to get our hands on it. In 80s and 90s, it wasn't that easy. You know. So I think today this is the time I'm enjoying the most fashion-wise. You know, absolutely, and again, absolutely. Like I said, thanks to Anushree and Shorshi, I'm happy. Absolutely. So Mona, I know that you've been a very, very, uh, you know, talented interior designer. You've done some fabulous work in the past. I know that yes. uh, you know uh, you have done interior designing for some iconic buildings in Delhi, like the Saber Mess. I know you've done the Art Track Mess in the past. Mm. Any other uh, memories that you have where you have done interior designing for homes, which really sort of uh, have a very special place in your heart? Uh, well, homes, I don't want to really give names out because they've been, you know, homes that we've done. But I right. think uh, what I really enjoyed is working with the army because it's always special. And of course, I love doing private homes because, you know, you get to meet the person and you step out of your own comfort zone. Because like you said, my style is very uh, colored. I love color everywhere. And right. uh, you have to listen to what a client says. So, you know, it kind of it, uh, forces you to explore other things of your personality, which you may not on a normal day, you know. So right. I've been into homes where they've said they want this very simple Zen look. And I've realized, oh, yeah, I do like certain parts of that. So it's been very interesting to do. For me, homes is really interesting, you know, because it kind of show, you know, it introduces me to so many people and, you know, so many different people, you know. So that's been exciting. And what know? a beautiful but, home you keep yourself, Mona. And I love the way, you know, what I love about your home is that, it, there's nothing constant in your home. You keep changing those little, little changes yeah. that you bring about in your home every now and then is, I think, what I love yes. about your home. Because every time I walk into your home, there's a new piece, there's a new art, there's something new in your house, which one always looks forward to. So I absolutely love that about I, your home. I, I See, for me, my home is a reflection of me, of where I've traveled, of what I've managed to pick up. And every story, everything has a, you know, every painting has a story, every piece has a story, and it reflects me and my family, you know, my daughter and my right. husband. So, uh, you know, it, it's a place where I come home and I'm happy, my friends come over, you know that. So yes. I think that's what a home should be, you know, a place Absolutely. where your friends can come over, put their feet up on the table, you know. So for me, that really is what I hope, I hope my home will you know great so mona also you have uh, become the co-founder of mandara recently which you've launched yes. where you're promoting a lot of indian artists so do you want to yes. tell the viewers a little about what mandara is yeah so basically as a uh, part of uh, being a designer you know i used to keep talking about uh, i dealt a lot of uh, uh, i was dealing uh, you know with gond art folk art and things and i really saw people struggle the craftspeople struggle and I, you know, with my co-founder, Punita and Priya, you know, we were talking about this. And uh, last year was really odd because we went to meet a friend who does the most amazing carvings on wood. So she was sitting and doing these beautiful pieces and she wasn't really exhibiting. So we said, OK, great. We've been talking about this. So let's just jump into this. Let's start Mandara. And she was the first exhibition we had. And we had a fabulous response to her work. Wow. And that encouraged us. So then we, then we did the second exhibition, which was before Diwali, where we introduced uh, a brand called Shuto, which again uh, is, you know, Vanita, the owner, is working with weavers in Bengal. And she's doing the most fabulous table linen. 
and now of course she's got into clothes and i uh, saw that into, that recently you also ventured into yes. clothes where you're doing amazing uh, yes. handmade and, and, uh, and you know she is working with weavers and then of course my sister came in from cape town and she in, she introduced her brand called scalini where again from africa she was picking up handcrafted uh, beautiful african stuff you know things you don't if necessarily find when you right. travel so uh you know slowly we are trying to build up a repertoire of introducing you know brands which work with craftsmen and that's where our passion is you know and uh, up till the lockdown you know touch wood we were doing okay and now we make we are coming back we are coming back, back. we've got yes. some young yes we've got artists uh, showing next week online it's a struggle but yes we are in for the long haul and we're going to make sure it works you know so it's Great. a passion right now so hopefully awesome brilliant yeah. so mona one question again what's currently on your coffee table because i know you're also very passionate about reading i've known you so long i know you're a very voracious yes. avid reader so what is it that you're reading at the moment or what is okay. it that's on your coffee table at the moment so right now i'm reading a book called the dutch house by ann pratchett but of course okay. uh, as you know and i think pancham your husband would tell you you know how i introduced him to all the killer novels yes the psychotic of one was <laughs> those are still my favorites <laughs> you know you i i remember he and i got into this phase where we were reading those really psychotic novels so yes those are still on top of my list but right now i'm reading something called the dutch house which is actually quite interesting the full Brilliant. mystery there so yeah wow okay so mona before we end one last question considering we've known each other for so many years what is that most memorable memory that you have of us we have too many oh i know one and too many to talk about but that one thing that really stands out when you think about you and me being together and we of course how many can we really i know i know there's loads <laughs> yeah so um you know which one do i really talk about this is it uh, so i think okay x rated no so okay the one i think the one where we went to europe for rithi's 40th do you remember that yes and of course we were in we were in monte carlo at the casino yes and rithi and i walked out and you and shaina went off to the slot machines and i remember walking back into this really fancy casino and uh, you know when the slot machines all line up the sound comes so we heard the sound and i turned around to rithi and i said oh god i hope it's bia and shaina who won and then there was this dead silence in this really posh casino and then you there were i could hear you and shaina cursing it would have put a truck driver to shame but yeah. it was hysterical because there was this all the choicest abuses came out and you'd won <laughs> basically i but know that, it I was amazing that, i remember, I remember that so clearly laughing. i remember i mean how much we laughed and of course all the winnings didn't make it out of the casino we drank it all right there and then i remember then. that we drank it all up there and then we never saw that money again <laughs> yeah. but that was amazing but i and think that trip by the way was one of the best trips ever it was so it was amazing so it was so much of fun that's my god that's what you want to have such history together and hopefully it's now going to be passed down to our daughters absolutely absolutely and it's so yes. amazing that today our daughters are turning out to be such great friends which i'm so yes. happy and so so proud of you know that they're carrying yes. on the legacy of uh, you know be spending that kind of time with each other getting to know each other so well so you know that's that's amazing yeah, i think the lockdown has been fabulous in this because the relationship been, yes. has been built and especially between sonia and naisha and ranveer let's not forget little ranveer yes and ranveer of course but i think i i'm hoping that you know they have what we have you know just being there for each other and just having a friend like that is brilliant absolutely absolutely mona thank you so much i can't thank you enough for this for coming Please, and yeah. giving Anytime. your time to me it means a lot to me and you know we are going to be going live after this immediately yes. right right now yes. cuz it's already time so yes. looking forward to yes. having a longer chat with you there but thank you so much this really meant a lot and you know what you mean to me so thank you so much for always being there for me and be same ditto you've said it beautifully i'm not going to repeat it you know you know exactly what you are to me so and thank you mona thank you so much you. thank uh, you yes and looking forward to my chat now after this with yes. you on a live session thanks okay, mona thank you so okay, much thank you, you. <laughs> bye bye bye